now we have bolt.new you are able to prompt run edit deploy full stack web application just by using natural language now anyone can be a developer and able to create a full-fledged application you are able to create different types of application with various languages you are able to prompt like this by giving an instruction such as creating a discord like app for musicians and store the data in superbase then based on that it's going to create the application run it you are able to preview you are able to edit on the go you can even edit the code directly from the user interface also you are able to deploy the application right from the browser you don't need any code editor that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about bolt.new. Here are some examples to create a to-do list app and based on the instruction it's able to create those files, install all the required packages which you don't need to worry about and it's able to create a full-fledged to-do application. What happens when there is an error? It can automatically identify the error from the terminal and it's able to give us options so we can just fix the error directly from the browser then it's going to fix that and run it to check if it's working or not. That is debugging right from your browser. Here is another example. Make my web dev homepage with a blog on Astro. So based on this instruction, it's able to create this web page, as you can see here with blog posts. Using a simple instruction like this, you are able to create a full-fledged app, even if you're an absolute beginner, and even though you know zero coding. So bolts.new is nothing but a combination of cursor v0 and cloud all together so you got ai integrated you are able to view it and you are able to edit it so in this video we are going to see how to create an end-to-end -end application using bolt.new how we can refine our application and finally how we can publish our application but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. You have two different versions. One is the paid version and also there is an open source version which you can run this on your computer. And it got 6.5 thousand stars. If you want help in running that locally on your computer, let me know in the comments below and I'll create a dedicated video for that. But in this case, I'm going to use bolt.new website and they give you few credits for you to try that out. So you should be able to create an application for free to start. So first step, create an application end to end. So here's the interface. I'm going to ask you to build a personal finance coach app using ChatGPT as a backend API for personalized budgeting, expense tracking, and financial tips. With a simple text prompt during onboarding, app customizes insights, sets goals, and provides easy financial management in an intuitive interface. So this is the only text prompt which I'm going to give and clicking enter. Now it's going through the steps. Now you can clearly see it's automatically creating the required files. The first is the package.json. So it's automatically creating the required packages and installing it in that environment dedicated to run this application. So if you know about app building, it involves multiple steps, creating files, installing required packages, then packaging it all together to make it work. But here you can clearly see it's all been taken care of. So if you see the interface, you got code, you got preview, you got the files to edit if you want to. Then you got a terminal here. So these are easy alternative for applications such as Replit agents or tools such as Devin. So now here our application is ready. So if you see here, it says, let's get started. What's your name? I'm going to enter Mervin Prazen. Monthly income, let's say 1000 USD and click next. Now it's asking me, what are your financial goals? I'm going to say, start a business. What financial challenges are you facing? Nothing. And clicking complete. And based on that, it's giving me personalized recommendation. Create an emergency fund, allocate 50%, track all expenses, set up automatic saving transfers, review and adjust your monthly budget. And here is your breakdown, income, expenses and savings. And at the top, we can see it's welcome Mervin Prazen. And in the settings, it's not working. So now let's dive deep into the code just for clarity. So when I click app.txt, I can see all these recommendations are pre-built, but I want to automatically generate these recommendations based on user's profile. So I'm going to refine the application, what you see here. So these are not customized. 
based on what the input the user added. So I'm going to change this. So here I'm giving customize the dashboard based on what was the input from the user. Use OpenAI API to generate the financial advice. Have the ability to automatically add expenses and modify income. So I'm going to click enter. Now again, it's going to make those changes accordingly. You can see it's automatically creating the expense form. So in the openai.ts file, I can see there is a API key which need to be entered. To make this as AI application, I'm going to add that API key. You can generate the API key from OpenAI platform, giving a name for my secret key and create secret key. Copying that and pasting it here. Now if I click the preview, then you will see, let's get started. What's your name? Adding my information and clicking next. Financial goals, start a business, financial challenges, nothing, and click complete. And I get a dashboard like this with all this information. I can see it's generating the response, but it's not displaying it. Monthly overview, I can click edit and I'm able to enter the value, let's say 2000 updates. So based on that, I can see that got updated. Next on the left hand side, you can see there are some errors. So you can just click fix problems and everything is taken care of by itself. So now it's fixing the error. So the error is in the open AI integration. Now everything is fixed. I'm going to try that again. After it fixes, double check if you have saved your open AI API key again, just to make sure. And here is a refined application. I'm going to enter all details as before and going to click get started. Now, based on that, I can see the financial advisor created this whole advice for me. So since Mervin's monthly income is $1,000, their expenses are currently zero. I recommend creating a budget that allows both essential expenses and savings for future business. So allocate this much. Saving strategy, specific steps to achieve their goals, solutions for these challenges. And this is really good. And I can even change this monthly expense directly by editing and clicking update. And I'm able to add expense here as well. Add expense, click the amount, say 200 for promotion, general category and click add. Now I can see the expense got added and it's calculating me the total. So based on the changes which I'm making here, this financial advisor is automatically giving me new, new recommendations. That is super cool. Now I created a full fledged application with all these features. I can even prompt more to create more advanced feature right from my terminal. So we created the application, refined the application and final step is to publish the application. So at the top, you can see there's a deploy button there. So I'm going to click that deploy and based on that, it's automatically trying to build the application and deploy that to Netlify. So I don't need to do anything as simple as that. Now the website is ready. I'm going to open it, open website. And here is the application running live on the browser. Now anyone able to open this and able to use my application. So starting from creating the application, refining the application and publishing the application, everything is taken care of by bolt.new. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to try and create more projects using this and give the feedback. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this end-to-end -end application creating framework, I've also created another video, which I will put that here. It's about Repulate agents. Same like this, on the browser, you are able to create an end-to-end -end application. So do click that and I will see you there.